Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get this look that you just saw in the kind of intro bit and this is actually going to be my entry to the I Am Freedom Awards and this is a very exciting competition which I thought I just had to enter because it's run by Freedom Makeup and yeah it's just such an exciting opportunity obviously like it would be incredible to win or just to even like get through to the next round but like obviously I'm not expecting for this to go anywhere but I thought it'd be a lot of fun to enter and then if I do get through to any like next stages or whatever then it would just be a bonus and at the same time I thought it would be kind of really good to show you guys a lot of these products and how to kind of make this makeup look so that is what this video is going to be and the rules of this competition is that you have to post a makeup look which is like the kind of your signature makeup look um, so I'm just going for some kind of like warm tones on the eyes some like shimmer obviously it's gonna have some amazing highlight and a kind of like nudie mauve lip because I feel like that is very me yeah that's basically what this video is gonna be and the rules of the competition is that you can use um, freedom products and like mention them um, if you use any other brands I'm not supposed to talk about them also I did actually tweet them asking if I could use makeup revolution products as well because obviously like they're owned by the same company and they did say that I could use makeup revolution products products so hopefully you guys enjoy and I'm gonna start with the eyes just because they're gonna be quite dramatic and I don't know I just want to make sure that like my face stays clean when I'm doing my eyes so so first to kind of prime my eyes I'm just gonna put some concealer on them because I have pretty veiny eyelids and I don't want any of them poking through <laughs> And I did actually moisturise my skin before I started this makeup just because it helps your uh, foundation to go on a lot smoother. So I'm just using a loose powder just to kind of set that concealer in place and make sure that the eyeshadows kind of blend nicely onto my eyelids. Okay, so I'm starting off with the Makeup Revolution Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm just going to take this colour here because this is a really good kind of like warm transitional colour and it's matte. So I'm just going to put this through my crease blending it quite high up into my eyebrow well not actually into my eyebrow but just like you know blending it quite high up and in this look I'm going for a kind of warm eye look just because that's what I tend to go for because it really like makes your blue eyes well not your my blue eyes just anyone that has blue eyes basically if you use warm tones on your eyes it makes them kind of stand out a lot more so that's what I tend to kind of do because I really like the way it makes my eyes look. I've just remembered that I was supposed to put tape on like the corners of my eyes because I wanted to have like that really sharp line. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the tape there anyway. <laughs> And then at the end, um, I'll just wipe off this excess bit with like a uh, cotton pad or something. Silly me. <laughs> so I'm just taking a small bit of tape, then putting it on the back of my hand first, and then peeling it off just so that it's not too sticky and it doesn't like rip at my eye skin. So every time after I apply a new colour, I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and just blend away the edges because you don't want it to be like a sudden harsh like block of colour on your eyelid. So next I'm taking this individual eyeshadow by Freedom and this is in the shade Gilded 218 and this is just a gorgeous like coppery colour and I'm taking that on my blending brush and I'm just going to run this through my crease and this is just to give my eyes a little bit more definition. And because I have quite hooded eyes, which means like I have quite a lot of skin up here, which like covers most of my eyelids, I like to kind of look down into a mirror when I'm doing my makeup, just because that way I can kind of give myself a higher crease. So that as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of putting it in here, whereas my actual crease is like a bit lower. So by giving um, yourself a slightly higher crease, it gives the illusion that your eyes are more like wide open. And honestly, you guys, the key to any eyeshadow look is just make sure you keep blending. Okay, so next I'm taking the Mono Eyeshadow in Nude 208, and I'm just gonna run this through the outer part of my crease, just to kind of intensify this look a little bit more. Right, so next I'm moving on to this Makeup Revolution eyeshadow in the shade Mountains of Gold and if you guys follow me on Snapchat you would have seen that I swatched this the other day. It is literally gorgeous. So what I'm actually going to do for this is take a flat brush and then I'm taking the Freedom Pro Studio Fixing Spray and this is the anti-shine one and I'm just going to give it a little like spritz. That was more than a little spritz. 
I kind of missed a couple of times. Yeah, but this will just help it stick better to my eye. And I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid. I'm then just taking my blending brush again and I'm going to blend just so that it's not such a harsh kind of line. Okay, so I'm now going to apply my eyeliner and I'm going to leave the tape on for this just so that it gives you like that really crisp line. Oh, I think I just went under the tape. It's not going to be a crisp line. So now for the moment of truth, I'm going to peel off the tape. one off, I think it's stuck to me. Right, so I'm just taking a bit of micellar water on a cotton bud and I'm just going to try and knead it up without ruining it. I'm just going to add a bit of mascara to my eyelashes. I am going to be using some fake eyelashes but this is just so that they blend nicely because my eyelashes are blonde. Okay, so I'm then taking some fake eyelashes and I'm just going to glue these to my eyeballs. So I'm just going to take my tweezers and just kind of pinch my eyelashes together with this. Okay, so now that I've just about managed to apply some false lashes, I feel like the rest of me is looking very bare. So I'm going to put some foundation onto my face. Okay, so next I'm just going to add some concealer and I've been sitting on this so it feels very warm. Not intentionally, it was an accident. I lost it and then I found it and I was sitting on it. So I'm just adding some concealer to brighten up my under eye area and also to conceal any kind of redness or blemishes. Now that I've done all my concealer, I'm gonna set everything with a translucent powder. So I'm just taking this gold colour again and I'm using the same kind of brush that I used earlier and I'm going to put some of this on the inner kind of part of my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the kind of darker colour that I used in my crease and I'm going to put some of this on my lower lash line as well, just on the like outer part. So for my eyebrows, I'm using my Freedom Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe and I absolutely love this stuff, it is so good. So to contour my face, I'm using my Makeup Revolution Contour Palette and I'm using this shade here and I'm just gonna go in with this and contour my cheekbones. And as I'm doing this, I like to kind of blend upwards rather than downwards because I feel like it looks a lot nicer if you blend upwards and if you blend downwards it just looks a bit weird. Okay guys, we are nearly there. We're nearly at the end of this makeup look. And for my highlight, which is probably my favourite part of this entire makeup, I'm going to be using the Freedom Pro Highlight Palette. And this just has six different highlight shades in it. And I'm just going to be taking like a combination of these two powder shades in the middle and putting these on my cheekbones. And you will see how amazing these are. Guys, look at this glow. I'm also going to put a little bit of this on the tip of my nose and just run it down my nose a little bit. On my cupid's bow, I'm also just adding a little bit to my brow bone because you can't forget about that. And then to finish off this whole makeup look, I'm going to be adding some lipstick obviously because it, this video would not be a soap video if I just didn't add any lipstick. Um, and the, I'm kind of going for a nudey mauve colour because that's just my favourite kind of colour to wear on my lips. And also I feel like it will go with this eyes nicely. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I gotta say, this is probably like the most proud I've been about my makeup before. Like, I just 
love everything about it like I just love the colors I love the highlight like especially like oh my god and just like everything about it like I'm so happy with how this turned out I hope you guys liked it as well please give this video a thumbs up thank you to freedom for running this amazing competition and for watching this video if you are judging me if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel then it would be amazing if you would subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye